All right, we're at the next mission. Chapter 12, Sea Gift. Is that like Sea Biscuit? Marty's apartment, September 22nd, 1951. Oh yeah, my apartment got burned down by the Marty's Irish again. Ground. We got revenge, and now we have Marty's apartment because Joe's cops, mother tried to, to or, yeah. Joe Since gave I didn't it to have us. any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment until I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Phone's ringing. Okay, come on, answer it. Come on, Vito. Hey, Vito. It's Henry. Hey. Listen, I'm setting up something big. I want you to come in on it. If you're interested in hearing more, come meet me at Lincoln Park and bring a piece. Okay. I'll see you there. Meet Henry and Joe at Lincoln Park. How far is that? A little bit of the ways. Uh, I'm sure. I'm guessing you guys don't have a car. Can I take a car in here? No, because my everything got burned up. Yeah, the damn Irish. Who uh, you remember in the beginning of the game? They came. I'm not taking that. They came back and burned my house down. We got revenge and we killed them. That's basically about it. So let's just take this uh, car. Oh, nope, nope, nope. It's, uh, 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 nothing to see here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. God damn it. Start the damn car, Vita. Vehicle theft in progress. In pursuit of suspect. No, you're not. No, you're not. Roger God that. damn it. Stop right there. Stop. Well, if I get really close to the park, I'll just pull over and bribe them. I want to see if I can get away from him. That wasn't the right thing to do. Oh, boy. Jeez, Rose, get out of the way, people. Oh boy. Oh, hi. That's bad. Shit, I gotta turn. What the hell did I just hit? Okay, I hit a. Uh... Well, that guy hit the tree, too. Okay, that was convenient, or whatever. I think he's stuck on a corner. Well, that actually worked out better than I thought. I have no idea what I hit, so. I'll look back uh, when I'm editing to see what I hit. Oh boy. Am I arrested after again? Uh-uh. Sorry, I was yawning. Alright, let's see what the good old sneaky-ass Henry... Yeah, Henry. Oh boy, please don't... Okay. Has us uh, doing this time. Why are we... We're like uh, near Chinatown, aren't we? I think we're near Chinatown. I... Damn it, I should have just drove up here, shouldn't I? Crap. Alright, well, what's going on? Hey, here he comes. Hey! What's up? Hey, Vito. Take a seat. All right, listen. I've been doing some research into Carlos' business. So? So, the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope, too. And he was stealing his customers. Now he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Frank Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. Okay. So what does this have to do with us? Cause if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs twenty five hundred bucks over in France. Then it's another thousand bucks to get it here. And and we pick up eleven grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. That's seventy five hundred bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcon? Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand the cut. All right, but if Carlo's the only big supplier in the city, where are you gonna buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the Chinks. Right, but it's also a front for their other operations. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. And we can sell it for... 110. Nice. Okay. Nice whistle. Where the hell are we going to get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark. The Yid over on Palisade. I think a loan is 35, we give him 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But you know, who's going to end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an hour. Of course, Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news. They kill people. Look, only idiots do drugs. Deadbeats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'd gladly help them out. 
especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution, so we don't need to worry about that. Are you guys in or not? I'm in. Come on, don't be stupid, Vito. 20 fucking grand in one afternoon. <sighs> when? Right now. If we don't take the offer, the towns will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito, it'll be a piece of cake. I'm going back to That's jail again, aren't I? Vito, how about you want us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Okay, let's go. Why wouldn't I not drive? Hey, visited Lone Shark in Southport. Um, please tell me you brought your own car. I don't want to go all the way back down the hill. Apparently, you walked the entire way. There is a cop right in front of me. Son of a bitch. You know what? I will see you when this is done. 